This has to be probably the best thing I've ever seen, ever. No, I'm not talking about the strong box. I'm talking about this transform. Look at this. Scale, one, one, one. Rotation, zero, zero, zero. Position, zero, zero, zero. And I'm talking about an armature export from Blender. This is amazing. I've literally been looking for this for about 10 years. It has been such a pain in the neck. The workflow has been garbage for the longest time. Go ahead and Google export errors from Blender to Unity, and you will just see a plethora of different articles that come up. So in this tutorial, it's going to be four parts. I'm going to be going over how to clean up a mesh, export it into Unity, have an armature that works, have animations that work, and also how to attach colliders to this. And so in this, in this tutorial, all I'm going to do is basically the cleanup work, which is still important because you might get a, an asset from a client that's very messy. And there's a lot of cool workflows I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about vertex groups. I'm going to be talking about, well, it's probably just faster to just show you. In our fur further future ones, I'll be talking about the exports and things like that. But this is going to be trying our end goal, just having a perfectly clean system. We're going to talk about the ins and outs. It's going to be great. So let's go ahead and go to Blender and look at this. Here we have an asset that is not optimized. There are absolutely no vertex groups. If you hit L, you can see that it's edge split, so it's really hard to select different things. And also, if you hit N, you can see, here, let's go ahead and tap out of this, excuse me. You can see the scale's not incorrect. And so I want to be able to get this in a way that I can export different parts or animate by naming the, the armatures the same thing as the different vertex groups. Before I do any of that, of course, you want the scale just to be one, one, one. It's okay to change this because I'm not gonna try and bake this. I already have that done, right? And now we need to start to do some vertex groups. So what kind of vertex groups do we want? Well, we want a lock. We want maybe this top latch to be animated by itself. So that's one separate vertex group. We want this whole bottom and these back latches to be split between the bottom and the top. And that's what we want. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and tab into this. And I'm going to go and select the things that I can get the easiest. The top, the bottom might be a little hard because right here, there's some faces that are basically flush with one another. And then back here, same with this. This latch and this latch, it's gonna be really hard to see where their faces end and start. So that's the last thing I wanna do. Going back to this, this lock, go to vertex selection mode and just hit one. There's not that many vertices behind it. So as long as you get a good amount of vertices, but don't you know click something that's not part of the lock like I just did there. This is gonna be exactly what we want. Just trying to get a good range of this. Now this is edge split. So you wanna make sure that you get every edge. And now, as you see, I try and rotate. It's not rotating where I want. So I hit period. I hit control L and it'll select everything connected to those vertices. Now, do I have them all or not? If you hit G, you can kind of move it and see, and then can just undo that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the screencast key so you can see this, close that. Now I'm gonna go over here to the vertex panel and vertex groups, add a new one, double click this and call it lock. Caps lock is on, there we go. And then hit assign. Now I just hit H to hide it. And now I'm good to go for the next thing. So the next thing I want is this latch. Again, hit one. There's no vertices behind this, so I can just select this very easily, except if I hit Control L, I'm actually getting this top latch, which I don't want. So there is a little bit more subtlety to this one. As long as I get one vertice on that cylinder and then get this pretty good. There's a latch right behind it, so it's gonna be hard. I'm just trying to work around that. I think I got all that. Control L, hit G to move it, and you're seeing the workflow. Go ahead and create a new group. I'm gonna call this top latch. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign that as well, like that. All right, now what we're gonna do is try and get the bottom. Hit B for box select, select everything, Control L, and that'll select everything like this. Now, if I move this, let me show you the problem. It's not getting this top face right there, so it's getting everything except that top face. And on these back latches as well, they're also missing those top faces. So something I can do is Control plus. Sometimes that gets other vertices, it didn't in this case. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new group here. Go ahead and call this bottom. Oops. Now what you'll see is that I didn't create a new group. I'm doing a search functionality, which I do not wanna do. Gotta double click that and type in bottom. This is not a naming convention. I do that all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and assign bottom right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hide this. And now I want to um, select what I know to be the top for sure. Like this, control L, create a new group, call this top. Assign this and hide this as well. So now you can start to see the different vertices that we're missing, okay? Um, this definitely belongs in the top, so I'll assign that and hide that. But right here, we don't know which one of these is top and which one of these is bottom. It's just the edge of the, the lid and the base right there. And so what I'm gonna do is hit N to pull up this menu, mesh display, and then where it says normals, I'm gonna click this. And this is gonna show the different normals and where they're going. The ones facing up will be on the bottom. The ones facing down will be on the top. So if I select one, just go to face select mode here. 
I can move it around. This is the bottom because it's facing up, the normal shooting up. So if you hold Control plus and you just do this several times, you can see that it starts just selecting around like this. And we get all those faces. Make sure we move it to see that nothing else is selected that we don't want. I can go ahead and hide those normals at this point. And then go to bottom, hit Assign, and then hit H to hide. Now I can go ahead and hit L for these. Go to top, hit Assign, and then hide. Right here we have these cylinders. These are going to be the joints. I want these to be on the top because I want them to animate with um, the top of the chest, like that. Okay, go ahead and assign that and hide that. And that's looking pretty good. Now there's a little bit that we need to do, so I'm going to Alt-H to unhide everything. And let's make sure that we have things where we want. So I'm going to select Lock, hit se Select, move that, see that that is great. There's nothing wrong with that, so I can hide that. Top latch, select, move that. That's exactly what I want, okay. And then bottom latch, oh, excuse me. So top latch, select, hide, bottom, select. This is where we're gonna see if it's actually what we want. So the top is, hit period to center on what you wanna rotate around. This is looking good. If I select this and hide this, you can see right there, I did accidentally add too much of the geometry. Um, you might not know what I'm looking for. I'm looking at right here, there's two faces that are flush. So if I go over here and come, hard to navigate, excuse me, hit period, you can see that this is actually hollow. So I need to move that back. And that's what we're gonna be trying to add. So moving that back, I'm gonna hide that. Okay. And I'm gonna select these cylinders and hide them. Select the cylinder, hide that. And I'm going to do the normals in the mesh display once more. I want the normals that are facing up. So zoom in here. Let's go ahead and hit L. This one looks like it's facing down. Is that right? So the one above it should be the one facing up, which it is. So I will remove it from the, from the top. So remove and then go to the bottom and hit sign. And now I can hide that. I'm just going to go ahead and do that with all of these. Hit Control L, select that. Zoom in. Control L. Remove it from the top, so remove. Assign it to the bottom. And now, if I go ahead and just hit bottom, select, Control I to inverse this. Hide everything else. We should see, I'm going to turn this off really fast. We should see that it's pretty, oh, yep, perfect. So now I have this mesh, even though it's one solid mesh, I have it separated into the different parts. One last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna animate this lock in the separate parts. So I'm gonna select the lock, hit Control I to inverse, hide everything but the lock, and you can have multiple vertex groups for something. So for example, I'm going to select this thing, I'm gonna select this. So this is basically uh, the lock, the latch part that I'm going to rotate, and that's selected. I'm going to hit New, Lock Top, like such. And then I'm going to go ahead and invert that. Hit New, Lock Bottom. I don't think I signed it, so I'm going to need to assign it. Control I, Lock Top, assign it. So there you go. We are done with this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we're going to be going ahead and exporting. And we're going to be exporting an armature. We're going to be exporting basically this broken up and there's a lot of good information. I think the next tutorial is the most important out of all these tutorials. If you become a Patreon supporter at different levels, you'll get access to different files um, that you've seen in this tutorial. You'll get access to like things like this. Also, um, I'm going to be releasing these, these strong boxes. So if you saw these and thought that these would actually look good, I keep saying these, you don't realize that I have uh, seven different prefabs. So let me go ahead and pull one of these up. Here we go. So I have different prefabs. I can just delete that and show you. Boop. So different material, different material, et cetera. And so if you also want access to these, uh, go ahead and support us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for supporting us. As always, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.